Hi, in this video I'm going to discuss the body. I'm going to show you some articles that we have in a contract and so you can get the general idea how it technically works. So let's go to the contract. So here you see the contract and we talked about it the intro in the last time in a previous video. So here you see it between and why you go to the contract and here you see one of the article that's really important, something you agree upon. And here you try to say, okay, I create these pictures, you will get exclusive rights for these pictures. Keep that in mind. I will create these pictures, you will get exclusive rights for this picture. And most people don't understand that. Sometimes they try to buy a whole bundle of pictures. It's really important that you put exactly what they are buying. You can put the, the document numbers on it if you deliver it digital or if you deliver the print. Make sure you put it in the contract so they know what they are going to get, where they're going to get exclusive rights. So that's why this is really important. Yeah. And you need to make sure that the person that sells, so if you are if you are selling them, you need to make sure that you're the copyright holder according to the law in your own country. And most of the time you will meet the requirements of copyright. But if you let someone else create it and you claim the copyright, you may have a problem. Keep that in mind. And the reason why I'm saying this is because one of the other articles will say you need to, yeah, take a tree. You need to give them a guarantee that you are the copyright holder and you represent the copyright holder or whatever. You, you guarantee that you, are, that you meet those requirements because if not, the buyer can sue you. And you need to keep in mind, let's say someone claimed that they are a copyright holder and they are not, you as a buyer can sue them because they are lying technically. That's how you need to see it. So technically, like I said in the beginning, this contract is really small. And in this video, we will talk also about the outro. And the outro, you need to make sure that the party that signed it is the same party that, that the name is here at the beginning, that you find the name here. So if I sign it here, my name here, I need to sign it also here. If my company is, um, let's say, buy this picture, I need to sign on behalf of my company. Obvious, right? And same apply for you. If you are a photographer, you are a company, and if those rights belong to you, you need to sign it. But if those rights belong to your company, your company needs to sign it. And there are some reason why you, um, there are some reason that most of the time the copyright is belong to the photographer. But sometimes because you work in a company, it will goes to the company. But you need to meet the requirements in order to have that. So we will talk also about the auto, like I said. He need to make sure that you sign it, the photographer owner. And if you have some photograph, you put it in here, exhibit A. You put it in here so you can see, oh, we are talking about these pictures. So it's clear what kind of rights are you selling over to someone else. So if you have a question about it, what you can do is just press the link to the Discord. And in Discord, you can create a ticket and you can ask me a question about this directly. If you're new to the channel and you like this video, like it. And if you're new, subscribe also. And I hope you can see you guys in the next video. Bye.